Hi guys, hey birthday. Welcome to Let's Get Cooking with Miss Tyler. So today we are going to be making chocolate chip cookies. I have this recipe, right? But I have a problem. This recipe that I have only makes cookies for 30 guests. I need to make them for 60. What do I need to do? I need to double my recipe. Well, why are you doing that, Miss Tarver? I'm so glad you asked. My recipe only makes cookies for 30 guests. I need to make cookies for 60 guests. 30 is half of 60. So I'm going to double so that I make sure I have enough for all 60 of my guests. Let's get doubling. All right, so starting with my one teaspoon of vanilla. I only need one teaspoon for 30. I'm gonna add another teaspoon for 60, and now I need two teaspoons. Next, we have two and a half cups of flour. So I'm gonna add another two and a half cup. And now that gives me five cups of flour. I need one teaspoon of baking soda for 30. Add another teaspoon for 60. And now I only need two teaspoons of baking soda. I need three fourths teaspoon of salt. Gonna add another three fourths. And I have six fourths. But wait, with measuring cups, I can't do six fourths of a cup, can I? Hmm, I know. Let's turn this into a mixed number so that we are able to accurately measure with our measuring cups that we have. So I'm going to pull out my whole and then my parts. Four fourths gives me a whole and I'm left with two fourths teaspoons of salt. We're halfway there, all right. I need two eggs for 30. I'm gonna add another two for 60 and I need four eggs. I need three fourths cup of sugar for 30. Add another three fourths for 60. Uh-oh, we ran into the same problem again. I have an improper fraction or a fraction that is greater than my whole. So I'm going to change it or rename it into a mixed number. So that I can accurately measure out the sugar. All right, I have one cup of butter for 30. Add another cup. That gives me two cups of butter. And last but not least, the best part, one cup of chocolate chip cookies, add another, that gives me two cups of chocolate chips, excuse me, not cookies, because that's what we're making. All right, I'm gonna grab my recipe closer to me so that I can follow it as I am baking the cookies. Now remember, if you're making these at home, you only need to make it for 30 people. Okay, just 30. Miss Tarver's gonna make it for 60 because I have enough ingredients, but you only need to make it for 30. Let's get cooking. So I added my ingredients and mixed them together. Now it's time to put them on the tray. Don't forget to preheat your oven, 350. So the cookies are out, they have cooled down, and now it's time to taste them. Now y'all know Miss Tarver doesn't like chocolate, so she has a very special friend and guest who's gonna be our taste tester. <laughs> All right, Miss Ann's bro. All right, I'm ready for it. Let's see if it's not good. I mean, I got you. I'm gonna have a camper. You did a good job, Miss.
Starver. Thank you. Well, what about that? She did that. <laughs> well, you know they think I can't cook already. I know. <laughs>